What's up YouTube? It's the old school expert here with a uh, kind of almost old school box. It is an unlimited Duelist Revolution box. The uh, first edition ones are ridiculously hard to come across, but this was not. And uh, this set brings back quite a lot of memories. It's a really good set. So uh, I'm going to open it up. I really don't care what I get out of here. Um, of course, I would prefer not to get like the bicorn, tricorn garbage, but if I do, it's alright, because uh, this set's very nostalgic. It was probably the best set ever, um, as you guys know. I don't think many people would argue that, at least in terms of uh, the post-ban uh, list set, because they actually didn't start banning cards until 2004, maybe 2005. Um, they always restricted and limited them, but they never banned them. So here we go, 24 packs of Duelist Revolution. Of course, a uh, pot of duality would be awesome to get, but um, there's some other decent secrets, and then of course some really good ultras. And I think this introduced the scraps, so this first pack looks hollow, so let's check it out. Flamevo Archer, Final Psychic Ogre, Damage Eater, let me focus a little better. Playful Possum, oh, and Ultimate Chivalry, oh man, that's too bad. There goes my ultimate. Ah, oh, lame. I hate that card. That's like the most garbage card ever. It should have been a common, not an ultra rare. And I've seen so many people pull it too. It's like Solemn Warning was like so hard to get. And then Chivalry was just, everybody pulled it. So, oh well. Still a chance to get some good stuff. Reanimation Wave. Um, this car, or this set also brought back a lot of Amazonist stuff that was initially released in um, Magician's Force. It brought some support for that. Unfortunately, they didn't do enough, I don't think, for the archetype because um, it never really... like uh, People made decks, but I don't think it's very competitive. Landois Luminous Moss. Synchrofusion. These are pretty good, the Miracle Synchrofusion. Um, they're pretty common though. This wasn't, I don't think it was that large of a set, but it was definitely the best 5D set and better than anything Zexel's ever produced. And uh, GX, this is another hollow it looks like. Stronghold Guardian, Battle Instinct, Damage Eater, Scrap Machine, oh, Amazon's Village, and a Unibird. Super rare. Some of the supers in this set are pretty decent too. But this set's really good for the ultras and secret. Well, some of the secrets. Psychic Nightmare would be kind of cool. Blind Spot Strike, Amazon Sage, Beast Rage, and a Cheerio Mosquito. Scrap Hunter. But yeah, um, it sucks that I got Chivalry as my ultimate because. It would have been great to get like a Scrap Dragon or a, obviously a Solemn Warning, although that recently went down to one per deck with the new ban list, so it's a little less valuable. But it's still a really cool card, and the artwork's really awesome. Egotistical Ape. And uh, it's that also. Uh, introduced, or not introduced, um, well I don't know if it introduced them, it may have, but I know it really supported the Nechirias quite a bit, but these packs are ridiculously hard to open, and so I remember when this set came out, man, everybody's building Nechirias with the pineapple, okay, Amazon is shamanism, super rare, um, everyone is running the, the pineapple, that was like a 20 to 30 dollar card, and then, uh, the uh, bamboo shoe, which is still fairly usable. I think there's a lock you can make with it. Um, I'm not sure if bamboo shoe was like 15 bucks when it came out. But all that stuff soon dropped because it wasn't that playable. Synchrofusionist. But yeah, man, there was like a... I'm sure everyone remembers the, the craze over dualities. 
Um, obviously, I, I didn't care that much because I didn't play, but everyone who played one of them. So you could run three. Well, you could run three now. Put it back to three. Hypnocorn. None of the commons are really any good. But who needs a good commons so when you have stuff like Effect Baylor? That also would have been a good ultimate. But no, not chivalry. Probably the worst. Did a unicorn and nope. So I'm on the right side, like you guys probably know. The right side I always do terribly, the left side I clean up and do a lot better. I don't know why that is. I don't think everyone's like that, but just it is that way for me. Let's see. That might be a hollow. Amazon is sliding. Nope, that's common. Um I've actually had some pretty good luck with this set, but again, I've never pulled a duality. I did pull an ultimate effect failure back when it was it was still being used, but not like it is now. And um, I sold it for like 20, I think it was like $21. And that was about what it was going for at the time. It wasn't super valuable. Oh no, Thunder Unicorn. Ah, oh, these pulls are awful already. I really hope I get a good secret or something, because that's one ultra down and the ultimate and both are just garbage but I guess that's the price you pay to open packs oh there's a good ultra okay it cleaned up solemn warning wow two ultras in a row um, that's good I wish it would have been the ultra ultimate because it looks so much cooler but that was a good ultra cool well, that makes me a lot happier. At least I won't be mad after I open this box. Thinking I got a bunch of crap. I never pulled a warning. That was the first time. I opened a lot of this set because I really liked it. There's some awesome stuff in here. Parallel selection. Um, I think I've pulled almost all the secrets of Spud Duality. Um, for the Ultras, I think Solemn Warning might have been the only one I haven't pulled. And I've pulled a lot of them in Ultimate also. Playful Possum. So I got my two Ultras, my Ultimate, hopefully a Secret, and I guess that's it. I mean, a couple more Supers. Horn of the Phantom Beast. When TGs came out, that card went up to like five, six bucks each. I mean, it's a decent card when you read the text. It's actually pretty good. Reanimation Wave. If you guys want any of this stuff, it's definitely for trade. Oh, it's easier. They're getting easier to open. Scrap Golem and a Scrap Archfiend. Cool, so that's a good super. When that came out, it was like, I don't know, three or four bucks because a lot of people were, were running scraps. That's something else this set introduced with scrap monsters. And uh, it's a pretty good one. Scrap Dragon's still fairly decent. Not really used anymore, but uh, when it came out, it was very good. Scrap Hunter. Okay, I've got five packs left. One, two, three, four, five. Five packs. Hoping for a secret. Or another ultimate. Since the chivalry was on top, sometimes that'll happen. And then the last card will be also uh, that rarity. Hypnocorn again. Four packs. I never opened a box of this, of Dual Revolution. I have bought blisters. They were more readily available. Synchro Fusion is, a, is the third. Sometimes it's like the third card, sometimes it's the fourth. Alright, what do we have? It's a super rare 
Scrap Camara. Those were really good. Also, when people were running scraps, and those were like five bucks a piece. It'd be kind of cool to pull the ghost too, even though it's uh, it's a crappy card. But I don't think that's gonna happen because I've got not or three packs left. This one doesn't look like anything. DD Destroyer. All right, two packs. I really hope I get a secret. Probably won't, which sucks because there's pretty decent secrets in here. Dark Desert Tapir. That one's hard to say. Ah, man, this box has really sucked. I guess the Solemn Warning was good, but uh, this is the last pack. Well, it's a hollow. It's probably a super. Let's see. It looks hollow. Amazon's Willpower and a Watt Camara. So I got another Ultra. Ah, oh, it's a terrible Ultra. Man, this box sucked. Try to stay positive, but it was pretty bad. No need to go through the rares because they're pretty pretty average. Um, so we got a Watt Camara, Scrap Camara. A scrap archfiend, solemn warning. That was the only really the only even decent pull. Uh, Thunder unicorn, Amazon shamanism, Unibird, and ult ultimate chivalry. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, it's disappointment. That box sucked ass. But um, again, thanks for watching and subscribe for more uh, newer and old school openings.